old Steve, um, back in the hot seat. Um, yeah. What is what is the the plan to try and awaken the sleeping giant? It's exciting. It's exciting, Mazola. To be honest with you, when you come to a project where everybody else wants to revisit history, you have a point of reference. But it is extremely inspiring that when you look back at that, you, you understand that it had been Orlando Pirates, Kaiser Chiefs, Mamelo de Sundowns, and then Moroga Solos. So when you are being invited, and then there's a name change or revival, then you understand the obligation that lesson. Moroga Solos, where do they come from? And that on its own pushes you to a point where we need to try to get there. And it looks like you also, with the signings, players that you've worked with previously, how in, just how involved were you in that? It, it, it is much easier, though, uh, especially where you want to, to instill a particular way of playing. When you have people who understand your way of playing, it becomes easier to plant the seed to everybody around. But it had not been easy. Um, because... I said this in 2015 when I was working at another institution, when I spoke of the, 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 the developmental phases of a football club. You, you are at the beginning of a project you're forming. There's going to be a lot of insecurities to people you find there. Then there's going to be the storming. So you quickly have to find the norming and then performing. Because the greatest danger with many clubs, many clubs, is not to recognize that as you form, there's going to be a storm, and uh, you cannot perpetually stay in the storming phase. And the only way to come out of the storming phase is to recognize it and immediately push into the norming phase, and then you see performance and excellence. But they don't reach the performance because there's a, a glitch on the, on the storming, storming, they get fed up, they change again, they go back to the forming. Then they form, they come, there's that storm, and then they get irritated, they throw it back again through change of player, through change of coach. So it is perpetual state of storming without trans transitioning into the norm, perform, and excellence. So we're trying to find the normal part without anybody feeling bad or threatened, and then we can perform. It depends on, on, on the luck as well. Sometimes you bring in a Palani, Palani clicks with, with AJ and then you go crazy that, goodness me, this thing comes together. And you'll be shocked if one of them just goes out, everything else changes. So you, there, there are no time frames. There's teams who they spend 20 years trying to hit the same quality of work they had been previously and they couldn't. There's other teams, their transition is so swift. Sometimes it's luck. Sometimes it's luck, you pray for it, but you work for your luck as well. Coach, Coach. Uh, looking back at Last the time at Sundowns, what did you learn personally co-coaching with? Uh, the you always learn in life. There's a lot of lessons. And what, what I always tell people is that, listen, when I say you always learn, in a good environment, Sundowns, you learn what to take with and go. In any bad, bad environment somewhere else, you learn what not to do. So you always learn. In good environments, you learn what to do. In bad environments, you learn what not to do. So there's always a perpetual state of learning in life.